your life! Your life! No, 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 it's, it's the absolute truth, Grandfather. No, no uh, little Ethan isn't a biological no. crane, but, but I have... No, it can't be. It cannot be. It can't be. It ruins everything. Everything I planned. It's all based on the irrefutable fact that Teresa's son has my blood running through his veins. I, I know you're a little disappointed that the kid isn't related to you, but look on the bright side. You, you got me. No! No, it can't be! No, it can't be! Oh, God. Oh, my no. God. Screams are coming from Vincent's cell. I will have you all in hell! The hell with you! The hell with everybody! The hell with them all! Honest to God, your eyes right now, they look just like grandfather's when he's at his most furious. Hey. I don't know anyone who could smile like that and still have such cold, unfeeling eyes. Uh, nobody asked you, pretty. It's just an observation. In fact, I don't think I've seen you smile at all since I arrived in Harmony. What's your point? It's just interesting, that's all, how much you've changed over the years. Life changes us. Yes, but some more subtly than others. With you, it's almost... Almost what? Just say it. Almost shocking. I mean, when I left Harmony, you were so sweet and vulnerable. People were actually worried about how you would make it in life. Always being so kind and caring towards others before yourself. Like I said, people change. Yeah, but this much, I mean, you're taking a really strange delight in breaking up Luis and Fancy. Luis and Fancy should have never been together in the first place. Yeah, but you're enjoying watching her suffer. You know what? You don't know the whole story. And frankly, you can keep your judgments to yourself. Hey, who said I was judging you? I can tell by the tone in your voice and the way you're looking at me. And look, I, I didn't have to do anything to make Luis think ill of Fancy. All that had to happen was you had to tell the truth about Fancy disfiguring you. And now, Luis wants nothing to do with her because he knows she's not the angel he thought she was. I guess I have a lot to learn. I thought if you really loved someone that you would do anything to make them happy, even if it meant letting them go. Like I said, Fancy never deserved Louise. Besides, you're the one that set things in motion. You wanted to hurt your sister as much as I did, so why aren't you smiling? <laughs> I, I don't know, maybe because I feel used. I thought that when I even the score with Fancy, I would have this overwhelming sense of satisfaction, but I don't. I just at you for using my pain and hurt to get back at Louise and my sister. <sighs> okay, you know what? You can spare me the self-righteous scolding. Just be honest. You are thrilled that Fancy is finally hitting rock bottom. Tell the truth. Fancy? Fancy, come on. Where are you? I just want to talk to you. Don't you dare turn away from me. I don't get to, so neither do you. Take a good, long, hard look at what you did to me. Memorize it. I want the horror that I live with every day to be burned into your memory forever. You know, now that Luis is free, he's going to want to marry you as soon as possible. <laughs> so, you need to tell him what happened with the pretty before you walk down the aisle. Yeah, I know, but no, no, you don't want him to find out the truth from somebody else, and then you won't even have a chance to defend yourself. I'll bet as soon as you're here for a while and you reconnect as adults, you can put the anger of what's happened behind you. Luis, 
I'm never going to be able to put what happened behind me. But don't let the truth be a scar on your soul. Tell us what kind of monster deliberately threw chemicals on your face and left it like that for the rest of your life. She did it. No. Fancy? You are the monster who scarred me for life. You, my own sister. I don't blame you for hating me, Louise. But I can't face you. I just can't. Fancy, is that you? No one is going anywhere, not until I give you my wedding present. Gwen, you've, you've really done enough. It's, it's okay. No, I haven't, not really. This is special. This is special and uh, something I hope that you keep with you always. Mm. Yeah, it's the kind of gift that just uh, keeps on giving. Oh my God, Gwen is gonna tell Ethan that little Ethan is really his son. Well, not now. Not when they finally have a chance at happiness. When it's really not necessary. It's... Look, I will be the judge of that. Oh, really? I've been waiting for the most opportune moment to surprise you, and, and this is definitely it. did he get this door open? Julian, if those were his screams, he couldn't have gotten far. We have to find him. Vincent! Okay. You have to separate. Do you understand that we have to separate? Yeah, yeah, yeah yes. Okay, now I want you to go left. Now hurry, hurry! Say, God, stop right there. Fancy, is that you? Come on, don't hide from me. Come on, let's talk. We, we can sort things out, okay? Come on. Damn it. Where is she? Fancy! How can I show myself to you, Luis? I, mean, I still love you, but I know you'll never be able to love me again. I'm so sorry. Can you really say you're not thrilled that you have gotten revenge against your sister? I mean, after what she has done to you, she deserves nothing less. Come on, pretty. Do you want me to put you in front of a mirror again? to remind you of the atrocity that Fancy committed against you? No. No. I didn't think so. Surely, the scars you bear are etched in your mind just as much as they are your face. Now answer me this one question. Have you even gone out with one man since the tragedy at the pool? No. Not even a date. So obviously, Fancy took more than your beauty when she threw those pool chemicals at your face. So what happened to Fancy tonight was justice. It was only fair. The score has been tied. But listen, I have to go. I have to get ready for Luis. I wouldn't be surprised if he came back to me tonight. And I want to look my best so that we can have a real reconciliation. One that Fancy can never interfere with again. You certainly sound sure of yourself. Actually, yes. Yes, I am. Because if it weren't for your treacherous sister, Luis and I would still be together. But thanks to you telling him the truth, Fancy will never be a problem again. Luis will finally be mine. What have I done? Look, Gwen, I don't, I don't need any more gifts. I, I'm, I feel very lucky today. You've been very generous and very considerate already. Well, look, I'm glad you feel that way, but 
You're just going to have to allow me this one last surprise, okay? And when you find out what it is, you will know why I had to do it. Okay. If you insist, okay. Mm-hmm, yes. Uh, she does. Look, there's something Wait. that... Wait! <laughs> what? What is it? Um, well, now isn't the time for surprises, Gwen. I mean, come on, we haven't even toasted the happy couple yet. <laughs> now, and now I have champagne right in here, and Chad, Chad can make the first toast. So, come on, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, first things first, right? That's right, we need that champagne. <laughs> That's right, come on, and I'll bring the children. Let's go. Okay, I don't know about you, but I'm dying to know what Gwen's present is. Let's go get some champagne. Uh, it's not gonna work, Wit. I don't know what you're talking about. But if you're planning on ruining my best friend's wedding, just think again. I'm not gonna let it happen. What are you gonna do? You gonna lock me in the bathroom again? If necessary, I will. I'll do whatever it takes to stop you from ruining Teresa's life. Now, come on. Just go on with your life. Let her live hers. And you know what? I know you have a good heart down in there somewhere. Why don't you use it? Yeah, I did have a heart. And I gave my heart to Ethan, and he ended up giving his heart to Teresa. So what's fair is fair. I'm Lindsay Hartley. Don't miss a beat when Passions moves exclusively to DirecTV. Call 888-999-0433 to get DirecTV. Stop, I say. I need a word with you. Please. It's urgent that we tell you something about our son. God, wait. Why didn't you stop for us? I didn't hear nothing. Well, never mind that. We came to visit our son in cell block B, and, uh, well, we went there and he's gone. Maybe he's in the rec yard. No, no, he, he can't mingle with the other prisoners. He's a psychiatric prisoner. Not that weird Vincent guy. Yes, that's our son. Well, he, he escaped. We heard this horrendous yelling down the hallway. We went to his cell, and the cell door was open, and he was gone. Holy cow, why didn't you say so? Code 45, code 45, psych prisoner on the loose. I think we better call Sam. Thank you. There you go. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Pretty soon, we're going to be toasting at our wedding. Can you believe that? Of course I can. You know, I've never been more hopeful about our future together than I feel right now. Really? Yeah. I mean, if Teresa and Ethan can overcome everything they've been through, mm. believe me, it's pretty much smooth sailing from us. No, you're right. I mean, if they can overcome all the odds stacked against them, then I think we're going to be fine. <laughs> True love always wins in the end. To love. To love. Our love. You know, I forgot how good you were on your feet. Oh, thanks. I thought it was a pretty lame attempt, but it was all I could come up with at the time. I mean, Gwen was going to tell Ethan the truth right there. Right in front of Ethan, no less. Yeah. And I tried to talk to Gwen just now, but I'm not sure if I really got through. You know what? We have to come up with something to stop Gwen from ruining Teresa's night. Yeah, well, forget night. Gwen's out to ruin her life. Yeah. Maybe we can get Ethan and Teresa out of here earlier than planned. You know, before Gwen can strike again. Yeah. Uh, but how? You have to tell Ethan the truth, Mia, before Gwen does. I know. And I will, Mama, just not here. And when? In our honeymoon, okay? When we're alone. I will tell him. Just don't make me do this right now. You give me your word that you will tell him, right? You have my word. Well, you better start... At honeymoon right now because Gwen's here. Well, I would like to make a toast. Oh, but Chad has this beautiful lady speech. First. To Ethan and his bride. You know, if I were you, I'd make a run for it. Because when Gwen is finished, Ethan's gonna want that ring back. Think cool of 
me, Louise! No, shut up! Ow! Louise, help me! She's crazy! Look, for the last time, I am not trying to kill you, pretty. I'm just trying to get you to shut up. I am not going to shut up anymore. I want the world to know what you did to me. I didn't do anything! What? You ruined my life, my own sister! You destroyed me! Knew I'd find you in here. Oh my god, pretty. You always did duck in here when you wanted to be alone. You thought no one knew, but I was always watching you. You have no idea how much I wanted to be like you in every way. <laughs> what did you find so comforting about Grandfather's library? Was it the books or lingering smell of his Cuban cigar? Did you just want to see the great man himself? He adored you and you ate it up. No matter what happened or who started the squabble, he always took your side. He defended you without questions. Made it kind of hard for the rest of us. Okay, just stop, pretty. You've already had your fun. You won, okay? I am decimated. I have nothing left. Just, just go away and leave me alone. I just wanted to talk to you. And what is wrong with you that you enjoy my pain so much? Look, I know I hurt you, but as God is my witness, it was an accident. And, and no, I haven't suffered the way you have, of course, but I have thought of you every day. I've regretted what I've done to you more than you'll ever know. You don't believe me. You don't care. All you wanted was to hurt me, and now you have. You've taken away my hopes and dreams, so now I really hate you. I hate you, and I never want to see you again, so just get out! Perfect. Now all I need is Luis. He'll be here. He'll be here as soon as he remembers what life was like for us before Fancy. <sighs> oh, I knew he'd come. Luis. Aunt Sheridan. How gracious of you to welcome me this way. I had no idea you cared so much. And we're almost certain that the yells we heard came from this cell. I mean, it sounded like they did come from this cell, but we can't be certain that they, they came from Vincent. How can that be? So we've only known him a short while, Sam. We don't even know what it sounds like when he's in distress. That's true. Do you have any idea how he could get out of here? Well, I checked the lock. It wasn't tampered with. Well, maybe he, maybe he, he bribed one of the guards. I spoke to everyone on duty. The last time rounds were made, the cell door was locked. Or maybe someone's lying. They all have an alibi. Or maybe Vincent stole a key and nobody realized it. Or maybe it was someone else who unlocked the cell door and let him out. Someone other than a prison employee. Possibly. Well, do you have any idea who that might be? No, not really, but we do think someone's been helping him. Not just helping him, Sam. Pulling his strings. We think someone's been taking advantage of his vulnerability. Like who? Uh, that's the thing we don't really know. Sam, just got your message. Vincent escaped? We searched the prison grounds. There's no sign of him. Well, you think he's still in harmony? Most likely. Well, that's just great. So now we got a killer on the streets. Well, how did he escape? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Did you look at the surveillance tapes? They're on their way here at this moment. Oh, great. That's great. So, uh, we got a freak on the loose out there. The worst part, he's totally unstable. It could be anywhere doing anything to anyone. If I could uh, have everyone's attention. Yes, that is important because we want everyone to hear what a treacherous bitch you are. Okay, we've got to do something. Yeah, well, if you have any more ideas, spill them now. You know, 
I gotta tell you, as nice as Gwen has been and all, I really don't think we should have our exes at our wedding. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more. <laughs> no Vox and definitely no charity when we get married. Deal. What is wrong? You think something is wrong? I do. You look upset. Um, I just, I just wish Gwen would just stop doing this, you know? About, you're upset about the fuss she's making about the toast and the surprise wedding gift. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't like it. Honey, you and Gwen have been at each other's throats for years now, okay? I truly think she's happy for us today. I think she's trying to make a turnaround. You don't believe it, do you? No. Well, can you relax? Because this is going to be over soon. And then we're going to be on our honeymoon, and then we're going to be out of here, okay? So you two uh, need to stop whispering sweet nothings to each other, because this is something I want everyone to hear. So come on up front. Don't be shy. It's your wedding reception. Okay. Come on. It's okay. We'll be over in a minute. Okay? wondering why I, Ethan's ex-wife, want to lead off the toasts. I mean, it's all so terribly modern of us, right? <laughs> but I think uh, in our case, there's no one more appropriate to start off the night. After all, who knows Ethan and Teresa better than I do? Now, I know, Teresa, we've had our problems in the past, but tonight none of that matters because tonight is a new beginning. It's a new era for all of us. Ethan, I want you to know there are no hard feelings. I, I genuinely just want you to be happy. I appreciate that, Gordon. Thank you. And, uh, you know, if Teresa makes you happy, then so be it. But, Teresa, since I do know Ethan so well, I thought I would impart a little advice to you. Now, Ethan holds two things very, very highly. One is his family, and the other is honesty. You know, honesty from everyone, but most importantly from the people he loves and trusts. And there are some people who think they can tell one fib here, or another fib there, you know, they kind of see truth in shades of gray, and they truly believe that there are some situations where it's justified not to tell the truth. But Ethan doesn't feel that way. He does not see truth in shades of gray. And with him, you're either telling the truth or you're lying. God knows Ivy found out the hard way how Ethan feels about deception when the truth about his father came out. There's probably no need to rehash that, though. I'm right sorry. Now. I'm sorry. I was just making a point. Sorry. Um, but I want you to know that this toast isn't just for Ethan. It's, it's for you, too. I, I don't want you to feel left out on this long-awaited wedding day. So I'm going to include you in, in the only way I know how. I really want this to be a toast that you will take with you to your grave. Shaking. What's wrong? Uh, she's probably just excited. What Brad wouldn't be. That's why I wanted everyone to know that this toast is as much about you, Teresa, as it is Ethan. In fact, it's it's all about you and the things that are most important to your new husband. Family and honesty. Rigorous honesty. So what better way to tie in those two virtues than right here with Excuse your Excuse me, but we almost forgot. Uh, can this wait, please? Actually, no, I'm late for another ceremony. <laughs> My wife wanted to make sure that we weren't going to throw rice at the happy couple on their way out. Harmful to the birdies, you know. So we've taken the liberty of making up individual packets of bird seed for you to shower them with instead. Oh, oh but this isn't really, we're not ready for that yet. You're so Wonderful. Thank, Thank you so much. And I, and I was wondering what we were going to do. <laughs> because we wouldn't want to send you guys off to your honeymoon without anything less than a proper send off, right? Amen. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Gwen, for that wonderful toast. And I'm sure Ethan and Teresa are just dying to get on their way. Yeah. Yeah. So here's a toast to my beautiful daughter and her beloved husband to a long and happy future together. Cheers. 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 Finally, almost yet. 
At least nothing that's telling us where Vincent is or who helped him escape. I put an APB out on him. The whole town's on lockdown. <laughs> Sam, they, they won't hurt him if they catch him, will they? Ideally, no. Well, they can't. Sam, he's sick. He needs help. You have to tell your people to go easy. I found something. Man. What is it? It's a list of names. Whose names? People Vincent plans to kill. But what are you doing here? I, I thought you were in police custody. Oh, I was, but prison's no place for me, especially a psych ward. How did you escape? Oh, it didn't take long for the people in charge to realize that they made a mistake by putting me in there with all those uh, crazy people. <laughs> I'm not crazy. I'm as sane and normal as they come. <laughs> so, now I'm here to visit you. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just a little surprised. Not that I mind. It's just that, you know, you, you, you really caught me at a bad time. Apparently you were expecting someone else? Yes. That, that, that's right. Hmm. <sighs> Lucky guy, that Luis. Well, that's what I hope to show him. So then I take it you're... Niece Pretty told him what Fancy did to her? All of it. So now, Luis will no longer want to see Fancy, and he'll realize how much he misses me. So if you don't mind, I would really like to be alone when Luis gets here. You know, you wouldn't be expecting him if I hadn't helped you. True. That, that is true, and I... I really appreciate everything that you've done for me. My pleasure. Congratulations. And, and good luck to you, too. Oh. <laughs> I'm not leaving. I, I would um, really like to be alone when Luis gets here. Ah, oh, but first things first. I was told to come here, and I do exactly as I'm told. Um, who, um, who told you to come here? Wh what do you want with me? I want to kill you. You came back here to hurt me and you succeeded. You must be so pleased with yourself. Not oh, just the... just go away and let me be. What is wrong with you? Just go. I just wanted to say, I'm sorry. <sighs> you're sorry. Yeah, you're sorry. Um, you deliberately destroy my relationship with the one man I have ever truly loved, and all you can say is, you're sorry? Are you so thick you think that's going to help anything? I know I hurt you. And I know you blame me for robbing you of any chance for a normal life, but at least the pain I inflicted on you was accidental. I would never, ever intentionally hurt you or anyone else. I would never do to you what you've done to me. So you say you're sorry? Well, live with it. Live with what you've done because your pathetic little apology doesn't cut it. I hate you. And I've never hated you. In fact, I loved you. But now, after this, oh, I, I mean, I really hate you. No wonder I was always grandfather's favorite. No wonder he didn't give a damn about you. He probably saw right through you and knew you were this mean, vindictive shell of a human being from the start. Do you have any idea what it was like to always take a back seat to you? To know that you were grandfather's favorite for no reason whatsoever. I tried like hell 
to get him to pay attention to me. But he wouldn't even look at me. Because he was too absorbed with his precious little fancy. And you, you bought into it. Acted like the princess that he always said that you were. You know, you say it was an accident that you threw those chemicals in my face, but I don't think so. I think that your vicious attack on me was just as deliberate as mine was on Luis. You're no different from me, Fancy. Maybe your ugliness isn't on the outside like mine is, but your soul is ugly. And it will be a constant reminder to you of how you lost Luis. Guess Fancy doesn't always get everything she wants. It's a list of Vincent's intended victims. Are you sure? Oh my God. Please God, don't let it be too late. But who's he rushing off to warn? Who? Dear God. Sorry, but orders are orders. I'm gonna kill you. No, 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 come on, come on. You don't want to do this. You, you're just trying to scare me. Oh, no. You're gonna die. No, 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 please. Nothing personal. No, no, no. I assure you. Who told you to do this? Whose orders are you following? <laughs> now, if I told you that, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> Get it? Get it. <laughs> no, please, Vincent. You don't want to do this. Look, we're, we're friends. I care about you. True, we haven't known each other for very long, but we are related by blood. I'm your aunt. We're family. Yeah, I never really had much family before. What you do now? You have me. And listen, I'd really like to repay you for all the favors you've done for me. Really? Yeah. How, how sweet, Aunt Sheridan. <sighs> And generous. Yeah. You know, I think I'll take you up on that offer. Yeah. That's, that's, that's wonderful. Well, what do you want me to do? Well, let me think about that for a moment on Sheridan. Let me think. Oh, I know what you can do for me. Okay. Die. Uh, I want you to die. For more passions and for all the scoop on your favorite stars, check out the Daily Blabber only at iVillage.com. Forget bird seed, I like a sprinkler with bird shot. Ah, ah, ah. Even bird shot is not lethal enough. I mean, remember when the vice president shot that guy on that hunting trip? I mean, he was better in no time. I cannot believe that she's getting away. Well, then stop them! Look, go tell Ethan before they get in the car! All right, I will. Yeah, that's a bad idea. Uh, yeah, as if we would listen to you. Um, you know what? <laughs> Let's go. What? Wait, hold on. Wait. Yeah. Teresa, Let's Teresa, go. I think you forgot something. What? You gotta throw this, right? Throw oh. the bouquet. That's right. <laughs> right, okay. Oh my Run. gosh. You ready? You ready? ready? Oh! Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. Wait, 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 honey. We gotta do something before we leave. Uh, we can, can wait? we wait? We need to thank Gwen. She did a lot. We should thank her individually. You know what? I think that we should thank Gwen when we get back. <laughs> Not very polite, but I think you're right. Maybe we should just drop her a note from our honeymoon. How about that? Oh, I, yes. All right, let's, let's get out of here. Okay. Bye. Bye. I mean it, Gwen. Leave Teresa alone. Or what? Oh, are you going to sick your bi-coastal husband on us? Shut up. Don't listen to him, Whitney. Listen, just let her be, okay? Whitney, wait. Honey, you missed the perfect opportunity. You let it slip by. Why didn't you tell Ethan that he's little Ethan's father? Because her family was keeping her from me, like Tony Soprano's crew, okay? Well, well they're not with her now. Well, 
You're right. And I did uh, kind of plan this whole reception, so I guess I could have a little input into the honeymoon. Mm -hmm. Thank God you had your laptop with you. Well, these days, I never leave home without it. Yeah, this is surveillance footage of your son leaving his cell. There's someone in there with Vincent. Can you, can you make out who it is? No, oh, but if we could see who it was, we'd have a much better chance of catching Vincent. You have done nothing but accuse me of heinous crimes since you came home. But you're the one who's vicious, pretty. You are the one who's a real bitch. And you must be so proud of yourself for what you've done to me and Luis. I will never, ever, ever forgive you. Well, well, well. Some things never change. Grampy? Hmm. But, but you're dead? dead. No, 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 I don't, I don't think so. No. Vincent, no, 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 please, please, no. You said you'd do anything I wanted. Is that a lie? No, 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 but... No, oh, I want you dead. Now, be a good girl. Don't put up a struggle. Because it gets so messy, and honestly, I don't have that much time. Come on, you're making a terrible mistake, please. You don't hate me. You don't want me dead. Why are you doing this? Because you're at the top of my list. You should be honored. You're number one. You mean? Oh, yes. There are others. First I kill you, and next, and then the next, and until I get to the bottom of my list. It's going to be a long night, I'm afraid. So let's get on with it.